Hi guys, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday again. I hope you've had a good week and I hope you're ready to make some birthday projects today. Um, while we wait for everybody to sign on, I'm gonna share it from my group page to my business page. Um, in case you're wondering why I have both a group page and a business page, it's all because of Facebook analytics. Um, the group page, I know you're gonna see it, and honestly, that's where I spend most of my time is here on this group page, because you guys know um, you're more likely to see things that are posted on a group page. Hi, Gina, hi, Deidre, hi, guys. Um, so that's why I do most of the things in a group. Um, a business page, years ago, make sure I'm doing this right. Years ago, we all started business pages on Facebook and they were great until Facebook changed your analytics. And now you don't see everything that your business pages that you follow, you don't see what they post. Um, and that can be frustrating for people like me as who have a small business. So that's why I started the group page. In case you're wondering, there's really no difference. I just um, know that if you're on the group page, you'll get notifications and you'll see everything that I post. Okay, I'm gonna get started because I've got a lot of things today to show you before we stamp. Um, let's see, I wanna make sure I can see your comments. Ooh, my, my office is kinda of messy back there. I know you guys are looking. I always like to look in the background when people are doing Facebook Lives. Um, I've got things for a retreat, my retreat on September 1st. My Halloween class is over there. Can you guys see it? It's so cute. I teased you with it earlier this week. I'm not ready to list it. It's coming, I promise, probably at the end of next week, okay? Um, and just a lot of a mess. It's a craft room, right? Okay, um, the thing, let's see, I don't even know where to start. The thing I think um, that I want you to think about the most is my paper share. We've got the holiday catalog coming out September 5th. And these are all the papers from the holiday catalog. If you like to get all the DSP, but you can't buy all of it at once, a paper share is a really good way to do that. My paper shares are always half of a sheet, so they're six by 12. You get, so basically you're getting twice the amount, except for these that fell out. These are the Glimmer papers, the new Glimmer papers, and they come in a six by 12 pack, so they're six by 12s. Um, but everything else will be 12 by 12. There's, let's see, I wrote it down so I would remember, 42 double-sided patterns. So there's 84 different patterns all together. Lots of glimmer and shimmer this, this time. My favorite, the Halloween paper. Look, pumpkins. Yes, I love this paper, this cute little witch. So that's in there. This is called... First Frost, I think, and it's shimmery. All the paper is shimmery. Um, this paper is very deceiving, you guys. It's, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, not felted, it's it's raised and it's fuzzy. What's that called? You know, like the old um, posters we used to get. I don't know why I can't, Vel velvety. Anyways, it's raised. It's not just a flat pattern. Um, that's the Christmas, I don't know all the names yet. Um, I'll remember that name as soon as I get off. But anyway, there's all this paper. Here's the fall-ish paper. Let's see if I can show you some of that. It's kind of funky patterns. Um, I guess it's not really the fall paper because it goes with a flocked. Thank you, Nancy. Flocked, that's the word. Um, it's farmhouse. There's lots of farmhouse stuff in this catalog. Thank you. Now you're all saying flocked, Erica. The word is flocked. Um, I really like these two together. Isn't that pretty? That wood grain and that um, crushed curry. Crushed curry is our yellow that's in the Regals family. And we all kind of go, mm, until it's fall and then it's the perfect yellow. And so I always love when it's in the fall. Look at this one. This is part of the farmhouse Christmas paper. Wood planks. Um, <sighs> Hello, swoon. Okay, so anyway, 42 sheets here. You also get the three glimmers. And then I passed right over the, the glossy black 
you get half a sheet of that and I'm getting my fingerprints all over it. And then this really cool stuff that I can't even explain to you. It's the galvanized paper. It's not shiny and it's, um, but it is shiny. <laughs> I don't know. Galvanized, like think of a galvanized bucket. It's steel, but it's not that shiny steel. It's beautiful. And it's almost feels, um, fabricy. It's cardstock, but it almost feels fabricy. Anyway, you'll get a half a sheet of that. Okay. So that's the paper share. The other share that I'm doing, and I haven't even cut them yet is the ribbon. Let's see if I can pick them all up at one time. Here they all are. We've got this, uh, really funky one on the end. That is two different colors. Let's see if I can find the name of it. Okay, it's Mary Merlot and Copper. That goes with some of the Christmas stuff. And then we've got Real Red, and we've got Poppy Parade. We've got a, a Velvet, and then this burlap that is amazing. It's a skinnier burlap, and it's got some red that goes through it. The black glitter, which we're using, I'm using on the Halloween class. And then this stuff, I was really interested to see. I love my jute twine, but this is different. They're calling this braided linen trim. It's similar, somewhere in between the linen and the burlap. It says it's 100% hemp, so if that means anything to you. Anyway, beautiful. So that's the ribbon share, and you'll get one yard of each of those. So um, the details on that, right here on today's PDF that's over my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Here's the all the paper, here's the ribbon. If you get both, they ship. You don't pay extra shipping for that one, for the ribbon, ships with this. And you're gonna get some of these really cool, I think these are my favorite embellishment in the catalog because they're so weird and different. We've never had anything like this. Um, chicken wire elements. So you'll get a free pack of these if you get both of these. Now I'm gonna um, stop taking orders for these on September 5th. I'm going to put that order in. So if you want to sign up for this, you got to go here and fill out the information and let me know which ones you want. Okay. That speaking of that, all of those are from this catalog. This is what I'm talking about. It is not live yet. September 5th is when it goes live, not the first. We usually think it's going to go, things are going to go live the first, but nope, this is the 5th of September. Um, so uh, today I mailed out the remaining, I have already mailed out my stamp clubs, my in color clubs, and um, some some others. Today, I sent a huge box out. Over 200 catalogs went out. So if you've placed an order with me in the last year, you're getting one. Um, if I missed you and you don't get it in the next week, let me know. I'm happy to send one to you. Sometimes they get lost in the mail. Sometimes when my children and I are labeling the envelopes, things get lost in the shuffle. So just know that I, um, if I missed you, just let me know. I'll send you one. And if you don't have a demonstrator and you'd like one, let me know. Um, I'm happy to send these out. Um, don't comment here if you want one, cause I'll, I'll never remember. You need to message me or email me, okay? So there we go, there's that. Um, okay, bonus days, reminder, bonus days. Every order you put in, in August, you get a $5 coupon for September. Every $50 you order, $50 you spend, you earn $5 for September. I'm really um, racking these up for next month. I've got a nice collection of $5 coupons and you can use them all together. So let's say you had $25 in coupons. Yeah, you can put use them all together next month on one order. Um, okay, that's that. Remember, we've got the Color Your Seasons bundle. This month, only available this month. I used it at the beginning of the month, so if you liked it, go back to the beginning of August and look at that, um, check out the details, because once August is gone, it's gone. Here's this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle, and I have not sent it out this week, so if you have ordered in about the last week, I'm sending those out today, okay? So you get this free with a $50 order. It's a has 12 tutorials in it. Um, featuring new or current products, not new products, but current products. Um, you can also buy it for $15 if you're a demonstrator and you want it. it. One is done by me, and then one is done by all these other amazing demonstrators. So that's that. Oh, the other thing about this is that we do this in six-month six month chunks. And so here's this August. 
I'm doing a great job explaining this. August is the first month of the next six months. So you can subscribe if you want to subscribe to it and it'll get delivered to your inbox every month on the first. When you subscribe, you get the sixth for free. So you're only paying for five. That's for those of you that maybe are already demonstrators or you order with somebody else, but you want this. Um, so check out my blog. There's details on today's PDF too about this. Um, if you want to subscribe, if you can't find it, shoot me an email and let me know. Okay, that's that. If you've never joined me for Facebook Live, I always type up a PDF. Here is this week's. Um, right now on my blog, hopefully, the post has gone live, pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, it'll have today's three projects. It'll have this PDF. And the PDF has all the products that I use as well as measurements. So you'll need this if you want to recreate these projects. It also has details about all the things that I'm telling you about. and has these tiny, easy little URLs that you can type in. All right, so let's talk a little bit about classes coming up because two class deadlines are coming this, this week before I see you again. Um, my retreat here in San Antonio, I'm having a one-day retreat on September 1st. I just have a few spots left. Um, and I have a to-go kit option. I also only have a few of those left. The deadline for that is Thursday or until it's full. I have a feeling we're probably going to fill before the deadline. So if you want this, make sure you hop over there and get it. Here's one of the projects that we're going to make. Um, your retreat um, cost includes $50 in product. You're going to get, um, here I have it all here, DSP. Um, note cards and envelopes, memories and more cards, a bolt of ribbon. You're going to get um, washi tape, a pack of uh, brads, the glimmer, is that, no, not glimmer, enamel shapes. And then you're going to get all these make and takes. The bag, the little suitcase that has a mini album inside, 10 cards, and a notepad, which is not in here. It ran away. Okay, so those are the things we're going to make at the retreat, and you'll get them in the retreat to go as well. You also get, I do lots of little treats and surprises throughout the day, so if you get it to go, you're also going to get all of those. Um, that deadline, again, is Thursday. The link is here on today's PDF. Now, the other class, this is the last class for August, and I put it all in here so you can see. It's my Card Cafe class. My friend Rhonda Wade and I team up about twice a year to bring a combo class to you. She designs one and I design one. And when you order it, you can choose one class or both classes. And when you order both classes, you're going to get a hostess set for free. Um, they both include a pack of DSP. Um, hers, here's one of her cards, a petal promenade class is what hers is called. Um, 10 cards, 10 envelopes, a bolt of white, and a pack of these faceted buttons. Um, now, if you don't already have the bundle, you can add that on to this class, and I'm going to pay the shipping and tax on that for you, and I'm going to include it in your class, okay? So you're getting a good deal on this. Now, mine is 10 cards, 10 envelopes, a pack of DSP, a wink of Stella, a bolt of um, tool, and again, let me hold this up. This is the class. My class uses the Blow Out Your Candles bundle, which is so fun and so cute and a really reasonably priced bundle. If you don't already have it and you want to add it to the class, you can also add it to, for, to the class for um, a discount of no shipping and no tax. I'm going to pay that for you. All right, so there's the class. If you get both, you're getting all of that stuff in there, okay? So check that out. Deadline for this is Tuesday. It's a pretty quick turnaround on that one. All right, I think that's all my announcements. I always think it's going to take me five minutes and it takes me a lot longer, so sorry. <laughs> all right, again, make sure you get the PDF on my blog. If you have never joined me for Facebook Friday, I do three projects, and you can get the three projects for free. Here's last week's. Last week we did back to school. This was a fun one for me. Um, and everybody who ordered last week using the hostess code, um, 
is we're going to receive the three make and takes in the mail for free. So same with this week. And I just realized I need to grab the hostess code for this week. It's the same as last week, but it's also right here on the PDF. Okay, so you got to put your order in by Monday at midnight, and you got to use that hostess code unless your order is over 150. Then you get the Stampin' Rewards, and I will still send you the Make and Takes for free. All right, so I don't know if you guys, can you guys hear what's going on under my table? My little bunny is sound asleep all day, and then he hears me talking, and he gets crazy. Anyway, next week, I think I'm going to do the bunny bundle, and I think I'm going to show you guys my, our new rabbit. He is going crazy down here. Hopefully, he's not chewing on anything important. Rabbits are a lot of work, people. Don't get a rabbit unless you're fully prepared. I'll tell you guys about him next week. All right, prizes. I've got prizes. Last week, I, I do two prizes. You got to go to my blog to enter for one. It's a random drawing, um, pinkbuckaroo.com. You enter your email, and I always ask you, like, one or two silly questions. Um, and then the website will automatically draw names. So last week, I was giving away a ribbon share one yard of all the ribbons in the annual catalog. And Jane and I have already been in contact. Jane Whetstone, congratulations. I think that's a pretty good price. So congratulations, Jane. Robin, I thought about you as I started planning the bunny bundle today. Uh, Robin has a bunny too. We, we chat sometimes about our bunnies. You have a new crazy baby. Oh, we're gonna have to talk. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, so the bunny punch. Yep, I think I'm going to use that next week. And I'm going to try to incorporate some of the things from the holiday catalog, some of the papers and stuff, so you guys can see them. Okay, I'm going to try to do some masculine cards with a rabbit. We'll see how that goes. All right, so congratulations, Jane. Now, I also had some prizes for sharing. If you share the video, I go back and I just randomly pick a couple of people. Okay, fun for you. You need to leave everything alone. Um, if it's not my kids or the dogs, it's the rabbit. Um, so if you share the video, I pick two people the next week. So last week I had two sets of Stampin' Blends. Ah, so Jessica Diaz, congratulations. And Donna Howd, I think I'm saying your name. Here's your name. Ladies, I don't have either of your addresses, so you're going to have to message me and let me know that you, um, that you want them, okay? If I don't hear from you, then I can't send them to you. So congratulations. Um, Patty, you're having slow internet. I hope it's not mine. I hope it's not on my end because I kicked my kids off of Fortnite and Minecraft and told them they had to read a book for an hour. They're not happy right now. I have to kick them off so we can do this. All right, now I also owed you guys prizes from the week before. Remember last week, I just totally spaced and forgot. So, Anita, hello, my friend Anita. I was just at your house this morning. I should have brought this with me. Anita is the winner of the Suttles DSP. And Lisa Keen, um, I have your address. I already know you, so I will send this to you. So thank you for sharing, you guys. I appreciate it. Um, I, I really do. I'm grateful for all of you who share. So this week I've got, do you guys know what these are? If you're not a demonstrator, let me tell you, we earn these things called Stampin' Rewards. No, not Stampin' Rewards, Flex Points. And we have this little Flex Point store, and you use your Flex Points to buy your trip. That's how you go on the trip. So after you've spent them then on your trip and you have some left, you can buy some of the other fun things. And one of the fun things everybody loves is pop-up trash can. See how that happens? So I have two of them. Yes, Gail, the waste baskets. So I've got two of them, and these are gonna go to people who have shared the video, okay? So share the video on Facebook, and I will pick two people at random, and I will send you the waste baskets. The only way you can buy these is with flex points when you're a demonstrator. So two, I gave some to my team this week also, and they loved them. They got very excited. Funny how we get excited about trash cans. All right, now the other prize, are two hostess sets, okay? Artfully folded and pressed flowers. So the only way you can get these is when you spend over $150, you have to use your Stampin' Rewards. So if you'd like to win these, go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll down to the bottom and enter um, in the raffle copter, okay? Okay, I've cleaned my desk and we are ready to go. So let me just get a drink and my hostess code over here. And I'm going to switch you guys around. I am not real graceful when I do this. So you have to forgive me, okay? I do the best I can. 
trying to switch this over. All right, if I accidentally end the video, please don't laugh. Just come back and find the new one because I'll restart it, okay? All right, spin you around. And down here you can see what we're making. Don't look if it's gonna make you dizzy, I apologize. Some people are really good about this. I, I have several very nice stands, but the two that I like the most don't allow me to switch very easily. All right, how are we looking, you guys? What do you think? Is that good? Are we centered? I can't stand when I see the replay and it's not centered. That drives me crazy. Looks like we're pretty good. All right. Now remember, these three projects are yours free if you order with me this week, okay? Well, let's just stamp. Now, <laughs> I'm using a really funny set this week um, called Free Cake. Have you guys noticed this set? Um, of course, the first thing that jumped out at me was the boom box. Uh-oh, my camera's shaking. If you are a child of the 80s, raise your hand. That's me. I had a pink one. And it was my, I, was just, oh, it was, I treasured it. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, yeah, I got to have that set. But also funny little sayings. Yay, free cake. Oh, I mean happy birthday. I think that would be funny like in an office, you know, because everybody gets excited when somebody brings a cake. And then this one, you're not old, you're retro. Super cute. And then we've got these little like um, texture stamps or um, pattern stamps that we'll use too. I think, in fact, we're going to use every single stamp today. All right, so the first project is actually my swap card from Alaska. I pulled it out. I wanted to use bright, fun colors. And of course, I put 100 layers on there because I like layers. Um, <laughs> you know, when you're like me and you like layers, you got to just buy the extra postage because when you have dimensionals all over everything, you got to put some extra postage on there. So I just, I just buy the, the stamps that are for non-machinable cards. I think they're about 70 cents. And I just put that on everything because layers are fun. All right, well, let's get started. So you guys are probably saying, um, Erica, you need an intervention because you cannot stop using Gorgeous Grape. Yeah, I know. Isn't that weird? I can't stop using it and I am not a purple person. Well, I wasn't until Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather and now I can't stop. I love it. So that's what we're using. We're gonna use, um, we're gonna use the circle, there's the circle, and the little confetti, or sprinkles, or whatever. I better move this one out of the way. All right, so this is a piece, a four inch by five and a fourth piece of Whisper White, and I'm gonna take the little sprinkles in Pineapple Punch, another fun bright color, and just kind of do them around the corners here, because here in the middle we're gonna have a bunch of stuff, and you won't be able to see them if you stamp them in the middle. And then my gorgeous grape with a little ring. And I'm just gonna kind of do them randomly, maybe half on, half off, kind of in the same manner, like that. Now, you guys, I filmed these this morning, clean versions, so individual videos for each project. They're gonna be on YouTube this weekend. I'll get them uploaded. That way, if you wanna come back and watch, you don't have to go through all the chatter. Um, but anyway, while I was making it <laughs> this morning, during my video, if you watch, you'll see, I forgot to do the sentiment until the very end. And you know how scary that is? Because, you know, if you mess it up, then you are already totally invested. But luckily I remembered today with you. So you're not old goes at the top in memento. And then your retro goes there on the bottom. Okay. All right. Let's get all the other elements. I'm going to adhere this to my Melon Mambo card base. It's just a, a half a sheet of cardstock, you guys. Just take your full sheet that's eight and a half by 11 and cut it in half at four and a fourth. And then you fold it in half or if you're fancy, you can score it at five and a half. Okay. That's how you make a card or you cut, you cut it the other way. On the short side, you can cut it at four and a fourth. And then your card will open that way. I always like to have my card openings at the top. What do you guys do mostly? I like doing that because when you photograph it, it photographs better, I think, than if you had like a side fold. 
I don't know. What do you guys do? All right. So now let's move that. Hi, everybody. I haven't even stopped to say hi. I feel like I'm going a mile a minute. I've got so much to say. Love purple, Nancy says. Yes, I've not ever been a giant purple fan, but I seem to be, especially this summer. All right. Hi, Anne-Marie. Yes, when I said, who loves layers? I was hoping you were there. Anne-Marie is my sister in overloaded layers. All right. So I've stamped the boom box in Whisper White uh, um, in Gorgeous Grape on Whisper White. And I'm just going to fussy cut. Don't throw stones at me. It's okay. It's straight edges. This one is like the easiest thing you will ever fussy cut. Straight edges. And I'm not going around these tiny buttons. Look, I'm just going across over like that. Believe me, there is so much going on on this card that nobody's going to even notice. Oh, she didn't cut in between the buttons. And if they do notice that, they need to get a life. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. I cut this ahead of time. You guys recognize this. I use it every single week, it seems like. This is the scalloped border framelit from the Seasonal Layers framelit. One of my most used framelits. So we're going to put these over here. We need to make a couple of little squares. So let's get the big shot. Connie, you love layers too. You're right. Your cards do have a lot of layers. Connie and Amory are both on my team and we swap all the time. And so I can I can recognize who is the, the, the layer lovers. All right, gorgeous, great piece of cardstock. This is another one of my favorites. Use it every week. Stitch shape framelits, the largest square, and the second largest square. And I'm gonna make a frame. So I'm gonna put the large one there and nest that second one there. If you use your magnetic platform, it will hold them in place perfectly. All right. Elaine, I see you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Missy. I appreciate you, ladies. All right, now you're gonna punch this out. Uh-oh, did I cut it? I might need to help this one out. You know, you guys, I have used my layering framelits so much over the last, I don't know how long we had them, two years, that I think it's time to replace them. I mean, I literally have done thousands of cuts with these guys. I don't know, they still do pretty good. My daughters were cutting things for me yesterday with them, and they were doing really well. But sometimes it does that in the middle. Okay, so did you see what I did? Here's the inside, okay? Save that for something else. Put that aside, save it for something else, but we're not using it on this card. All right, now, Pineapple Punch. This is not the largest. This is that second largest, the one we used on the inside of our, um, of our frame. Let's see, yeah, that one, that one cut out much better. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep this one. And we can put these aside. I think we're ready to layer everything up. Let's see. So you guys have your kids started school, those of you with kids. Mine are still here. They still have like 10 days till school starts. Feels like it's never gonna come. All right, um, let's see. I'm gonna start with a scallop. I'm gonna put a line across. And when I cut my scallops, I usually cut it bigger just because that's how the framelit is. And then you just trim it off. And then I'm gonna do, this is a piece of granny apple green. And it's three fourths by one, I mean three fourths by four and a fourth. Put it, put that there. Now we're gonna get our baby dimensionals. Those aren't the, the official name. I think the official name is mini dimensionals, but I call them babies. Cause they look like little babies. And I'm gonna put them one in each corner. And like I said, you're gonna need some extra postage for this card, like 20 cents. So make sure if you're mailing it, you do that. Oh, Shannon, your grandkids have started. My mom's a teacher and she's already started. I think we're the last ones in Texas. We used to start early when I was teaching. Of course we started early and now it seems like we're never starting. The 27th, that's their first day, last week of August. And then they have Labor Day off. Okay, so I did that kind of at an angle, and now I'm gonna do this one at an angle. I put dimensionals on that one too. Oh, 
Darn it, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do this this morning in the video too. Let's see if I can fix that. It's funny how I forgot to do the same thing. I wanted to put this little starburst. It looks like sun rays. I wanted to put that in the corner right there. So it looked like sound was coming out. All right, good, that worked. Have you ever tried to stamp something after you've put it down with dimensionals? Don't do it. It never works out. Don't ask me how I know. 300 times. <laughs> it never works. And I always think, oh, I can get it. All right, so then I wanted to add just another layer. This is the rose. Oh, I'm going to forget the name. Let me look at the official name. Rose Metallic Thread. It's very skinny. Wrap it around about four or five times. Round your four fingers. I always put that in my tutorials and wonder if you guys know what that means. You just wrap it around and then you pinch it in the middle so that you kind of have a figure eight. And you want it messy. That's okay if it's not perfect. If it's perfect, I don't like it. I like it to be messy. And then we're going to put it down here kind of across the corner with a dimensional. Oh, you guys are saying lots of stuff. What are you saying? New York starts after Labor Day. Maryland is September 4th. Okay. Deidre, you win. That's later than us. The, you're, okay, Sonia says the 27th. I don't know. It seems like later and later. Looks like the card had washi tape on it too. Nina, no washi tape. You know what? It's the ribbon. It was the ribbon. All right, all right, let's fix it. Just pop that up. Thank you, Nina. And you know what, this is the mini stripe ribbon. And you can put mini stripe ribbon on, or you can put ribbon across this way, lots of different ways. You can use tear and tape. You can use liquid adhesive, but I'm just gonna use two blue dots and I'm gonna slide it under. This card has so many layers, I can't remember what to do. There we go, thank you for reminding me because I would have totally forgotten. It does look like washi tape. All right, there we go. You know what, that's uneven. Can you guys see how that's sticking off? Let's trim that. There we go. All right, there we go. Good eye, good eye. All right, now we've got our little boom box with that crazy amount of thread there. Now let's put that down. So I made, um, how many did we make for the ship? I think 26 um, swap cards. So I made 26 of these. It wasn't too bad. When you're making um, a lot of cards, you want to do everything in an assembly line. So I stamped all these first, cut them out. Then I stamped all these and then I cut these out and I just stood and put them all together once all the pieces were finished. All right, this is Pineapple Punch Grow Grain Ribbon, an eighth of an inch. It's thin, which I like, and it doesn't bulk up your card. Put that on with a mini glue dot. And then last but not least, I think, we're gonna add some of these glimmer dots. And can you guys tell which color I've used the most? Look at it. Uh-oh, have I frozen? Okay, good, mm, my internet's going in and out. Well, you guys, if your internet's going in and out, don't worry. When I'm done, I will upload it to Facebook in HD, and it'll be a clean, complete recording. So if you're having trouble with the internet, just come back and watch the replay. All right, did I forget anything else? Do you see? I think they're identical. All right, there you have it. The first card, a fun birthday card um, that has lots of layers. I hope you like it. Now the next one doesn't use the boom box, but we are gonna use the boom box on the third project. So I'm gonna use my, I'm going to use my Simply Chamois and clean my stamp off. You guys know how much I love my Simply Chamois. Hopefully you can tell by <laughs> how much I use it. All right, so let's see, we're gonna set this aside and I better close my ink pads because they are all over the place. Now the next one I decided to do a pocket card. It's a little bit different than a regular card. 
in that it just has a pocket and the little note is inside like that. Um, it's the same size as the other, as a regular card. See, it's just the same size and so it'll fit in an envelope. It's just kind of a fun spin on a card. All right, so let's do this part first. Move that. And we're gonna use the other large image that's in this set, the one that's funny. Yay, free cake. And we're gonna stamp that with Memento. Remember, you guys, we're gonna use blends. So when you're using blends, you gotta use Memento, okay? Memento for stamp and blends. Don't use your stays on with your stamp and blends. They do not go together and you will have a yucky effect. So you gotta use the water-based ink with the alcohol markers. So the two colors I'm using are Highland Heather and Pineapple Punch. And what I was kind of really going for was an ombre look. So you can kind of see dark to light, dark to light. So I'm gonna start on the bottom and I'm gonna use the lightest Highland Heather. And I'm just gonna go kind of one swoop all the way across the card, um, not the card, hello, all the way, one swoop across the bottom tier of the cake. And I'm getting out of the lines, but that's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna trim it out. Now I'm gonna take my darker Highland Heather and I'm gonna go do the same thing only I'm gonna stop about halfway up. Each time you go over this with a blend, you're adding a layer of color. So you're building up that layer. So I'm taking my light and I'm going back up, but I'm not gonna go back over that top layer, okay? I can kind of see three variations here in color. So I'm gonna add a little more dark there to the bottom and one more swoop with the light will blend it all together. Should I? Mm, 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 nope, I'm gonna leave it. All right, so I left my markers open while I was working because our markers are kind of um, a tight fit and it's when you're working quickly with the blends, you wanna be able to move between them quickly without having to stop and snap the, the lids closed. So I just leave them open while I work with that color. All right, light pineapple punch. Dark pineapple punch halfway up, and then take my light again and go back up. One more, little layer, dark, dark layer here at the bottom. And I'm just being all out of the lines today. It's hard for me to color and stand up. I have to sit down to color, and I'm standing right now. Okay, so there it is. Lucky for me and my messy coloring, we're gonna cut it out. Yes, more fussy cutting. You know, I love framelits. So when I have, when we get a stamp set that I love that doesn't have framelits, I just have to make myself fussy cut. But you guys know how I feel. I don't feel too badly about fussy cutting. Now stay on the, whoops, I'm not doing a very good job. Stay on the outside of that black line and cut those candles off. Cut away your excess cardstock. And just go around slowly using your smallest, sharpest pair of scissors. I'm gonna try to cut off some of that ink that bled out there. There we go. Now the scallops are a little trickier. Stay on the outside of the scallop. Just leave a white border. And I tell you guys this every time I fussy cut, that your eye is only going to see the black image, the, the line of the image. It's not going to see your, you know, maybe your messy cutting or your uneven cutting. And that's okay. There we go. Nope, oh, little snip. All right. Looks pretty good. Now, let's layer it up. I did some cutting ahead of time. This is the Melon Mambo Designer Series paper that I cut out with that same square from the last project, the largest stitched square. This is um, a framelit from the Bunch of Banners. It has just a bunch of banners. And this is kind of the double one. I like this one um, for layering. And I use the Pineapple Punch DSP here. So let's put a couple of dimensionals on there. 
Shannon. I enjoy fussy cutting too. Yes, in the evenings while I watch TV, I like to have my hands busy and that is a good time to fussy cut. <laughs> Who doesn't love free cake? Anne-Marie, I hear ya. I love cake even if I have to pay for it, I'm gonna be honest, but free is even better. <laughs> All right, so let's put the cake on a little bit lower with dimensionals. Now I cut those candles off because for one, they would have been hard to fussy cut. Two, we've got these really cool um, metallic candle embellishments. They come in gold and silver and look, they have adhesive on them already. Brilliant. So I'm gonna stick that there. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on before I spill that. And just so you know, this is not one whole pack. So it's like three packs I put in one thing. You don't get that many. I think you get 24. Okay, so there we go. We've got that done. Now let's make our little card pocket. Um, we're gonna score it. And of course, my Simply Scored is underneath a giant pile of stuff that I showed you earlier. Now this is how I, sh I was telling you in the last project, you can cut your cardstock long ways or short, or this is the long side, or on the short side. And so this was the 11 inch side and I cut it at five and a half. So this time, the, the fold's gonna be on the bottom. And I'm gonna score it at four and a fourth. Now don't forget you guys, right here on the bottom of today's PDF, all that information is there, okay? So four and a fourth, and then, let me look at my notes, seven. Okay, four and a fourth and seven. And then, let's see, I better put that where I can get to it in a minute because we're gonna need it. Then we're going to emboss it with one of our new embossing folders. And this embossing folder is called Maps Etc. So it's kind of funny and we're not using it on a map or the best route project. We're using it just to add some funk to it. Don't you think that's kind of funky? I thought so. All right, so we're gonna take our card and we're gonna emboss this side that we put that um, score line on. So let me grab my Maps Etc. embossing folder and I'm gonna put it in here like this. And here's my regular base, my, um, my platform that came with the Big Shot. It has no of the, none of the extra layers on it. You just need the, need the base because this is one of our thicker embossing folders. You put it right on the base and then you just put one clear plate on top of it. Now I'm gonna tell you guys a big something I did. I have been stamping, I have been a demonstrator for nine years. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna share you. You saw me last week screw up an embossing project. So today I'm gonna to show you another way that I screwed it up. Um, this embossing folder, here it is by the way, isn't that cute? This embossing folder is just wide enough to fit in here. And I forced it, it was kind of sticking out. And I could hear this as I went through and it scraped some of the plastic. So look what I did, use my lesson. Look at that, there's a hole now. Use my impatience and need to get things done quickly to teach you a lesson. Don't force it. If it starts making a weird noise, stop and go back. Because the way I put it in, um, it was just, it just barely fits. And so I had it sticking out a little bit. So, word to the wise, if you hear a funny noise that isn't normal, back up and check your stuff. A cautionary tale of embossing. I seem to have a lot of those. Okay, so let's get back to our card. Here we go. Um, this score line is where we're gonna fold over like that. And I'm actually gonna staple this here under where the this part's gonna fold over. All right, so just staple. And then I'm gonna take tear and tape like that. Henry, you forgot about those candle embellishments. You guys, I used those in my Broadway class that I shipped out last week or earlier this week, whenever it was, and I over-ordered those candles. So that's why I have so many. I accidentally ordered too many. So I'll be using them a lot. All right, so there's our pocket. You see how that fits right there nicely? And it folds over and hides that staple. All right, so let's put our little cute little 
tag on the front. I'm gonna use dimensionals. Shocker, I know. And let's add a bow. This is that same ribbon from the card before where I almost forgot. The gorgeous grape, mini striped ribbon. Oh good, Carla, your Broadway class came, I'm glad. Every time I send those off, my heart skips a beat a little bit because there's so much work and you guys know how the postal service is. I worry about them. All right, so there we have it. The last thing we're gonna do is the card that goes inside. So let's bring back over our pineapple punch ink and the little stars. These are the little stars. We used the confetti on the first card. This time we're using the stars. Again, kind of the same deal, just in the opposite corners. And then we're gonna add the sentiment in Melon Mambo. And remember the, big, the front says, yay, free cake. And inside we're stamping, oh, I mean, happy birthday. This is um, a good card to include maybe a gift card or um, some cash if you're giving somebody money for their birthday. And there you have it. Fun little pocket card. This is just a different take on a regular standard card. Um, kind of a, um, a simple fancy fold. And uh, I think it would be fun. So you should try it with different, different things that you're doing. Birthdays, thank yous, whatever. All right, so there you go. Project two. What do you guys think? Oh, Robin, your class came too. Good. All right. Let me move this out of the way. And we're going to do the last project. I've got to kind of clean up a little bit before we get there because I've got quite the mess. The last project, I'll let you look at it. It's so cute, if I do say so myself. It's a little nugget box. And I want to make sure to tell you that this original nugget box, where did my other tray go? Here it is. This, uh, the box itself is not my original design. I put her name on here. I wanna make sure to give her credit. Beth McCullough. I found this on Pinterest and just thought it was adorable. It's a cute little box that holds three nuggets. Yay! Stampin' Up! demonstrators or paper crafters really have come up with so many little boxes for Hershey nuggets. And I know if you're watching in Canada or something, you can't get them. I don't know. I always get lots of questions about Hershey nuggets. But for me, Hershey nuggets are just at the grocery store near Hershey Kisses, and they're fun. No little Debbie's this week, Shannon. No, no, I try to take a break from little Debbie this week. Me and little Debbie are, are buddies. Okay, so we're gonna use the Stamparatus, but first let's make the box. And remember those measurements are on the PDF here. So I gotta look at them. Pinkbuckaroo.com, you can save that PDF to your computer and uh, make the make them yourself, but of course you can change it up for the occasion. Maybe you have a birthday party, you can make party favors or Christmas, that would be fun at Christmas. All right, so this is Melon Mambo and it is six by five and a fourth. We're gonna score the long side at three fourths, one and a half, four and a half, and five and a fourth. Now turn it to the short side and score it at three fourths, two and a fourth, three and four and a half. All right, now we're gonna trim it up, but before we do that, no, let's trim it up first. We're gonna stamp that cute boom box here. Um, so here's the long side and here's the short side. That'll kind of give you a reference of what we're doing. This is the lid. And this is the little lip that gets tucked in, okay? So I'm gonna actually cut off first these four little segments on the left side of the lid, and then these little segments right here on the right side of the lid. All right, and then I'm gonna cut the corners off of the little lip that gets tucked in. That makes it go in a little bit easier. Now over here, we're gonna cut these like that. And then we're gonna cut just a little sliver. You see how I cut those? We're gonna cut a little sliver 
out of the middle section. This just kind of gives us more room when we're putting things together. Because I don't know why, but I never cut things perfectly. And this just helps. I have a feeling I'm not the only one. All right, little sliver. It's kind of an angle. And you can see there's two segments here, and you'll see why in a minute. One's gonna fold over the others. All right, so here's what it looks like when you're done cutting. And while you're looking at that, I'm gonna pull over my Stamparatus. And today, we're only going to use one plate on the Stamparatus. And actually, I want it to be at the top, the one that we use. Um, our stamp, where's our little boom box? Here it is. It is a rubber, um, cl clear mount rubber stamp. So that means, you see how it has a layer of foam? That means we don't need this foam that comes with it, okay? So no worries, we just pull that out. And I'm gonna put this here in the middle. And uh, I think I'm gonna do a little bit higher. I'm gonna put my magnet there. And I'm gonna lay my boom box. I want to kind of have two. So one there and one there. So I'm gonna lay that just about halfway, making sure that it's straight right here with the bottom. And I'm gonna lay my plate down to pick that up. So now it's in the perfect position. All right, so let's get the Melon Mambo. And I'm gonna ink that and come straight down. Okay, right there. Now I'm gonna do what we call um, a step, a hinge step. This plate comes out just real easily and you can move it over. Now if you move it over one, that's not enough. I don't know, can you guys see? That's not enough. We need to move it over two. Okay, so I, I moved it from one to two steps over. I'm gonna ink it again and stamp it. Now you could stamp this just with your block, sure, no problem, you can do that. However, if you don't trust your, your hand, if you don't think you're steady enough to get them lined up perfectly, me, I'm talking about myself, then that's when you pull out the Stamparatus because it'll make sure that it's straight and in place. All right, so we have two of them. And I've got ink here, so I'm just gonna take my Simply Chamois and put it in there. I think it's time for my Simply Chamois to have a bath itself. All right, now let's put this guy together. We're gonna burnish all these lines, just fold them in, use your um, bone folder if you have it. You guys know me, I can never remember to get my bone folder. Now we've got these long legs, that's what I'm calling these, long legs. They're both gonna fold in, okay? Now we're not gonna put adhesive on either of those legs because this piece right here is gonna fold over and squeeze them. So I'm gonna take some tear and tape, put right there, and put some right here. Looks like I tore off too big of a piece. All right, so you can see how that I put the adhesive there. So fold these. Kathy's asking, how do you give your chamois a bath? Okay, well, Kathy, there's two ways. You can go to the sink and rinse, 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 squeezing it, getting all the ink out, which is what I do about every two or three days. And then when you do, oh, let me tell you what I'm doing. Fold those in. This guy folds over and then folds in to squeeze those down. See how that works? And then you've created a nice, smooth, rounded edge. Really cool. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So the other thing you can do, Kathy, is throw it in the wash machine. And I just throw mine in with my towels. We have dark colored towels anyway, so I'm not worried about the ink. But you, if you are, you can just wash it by itself or maybe some dish rags in there too. And it doesn't get the staining out but it does make it smell nice and then it, it's um, clean. There's no ink left built up in there. Um, I do that about once a week to mine. So that's how I give my chamois a bath. Good question. All right, so now we're gonna fold that little lid in and look how cute our box is. A little retro 80s box. Now, you know what, before we do the belly band, let's do the nuggets. I have a stash of candy in my office and <laughs> My daughter was in here while I was digging around for nuggets. 
And she, you should have seen her eyes. They were so big. She was like, oh my God, you have so much candy. But it's all old, I told her. It's old. I use it just for projects. Don't eat it. But these, I think I forgot they were there. These are the toffee and almond Hershey nuggets. My favorite. It's a good thing I didn't know they were there. You can get a bag. I think you can get, what, mixed nuggets or... You know, milk chocolate, I think there's some with almonds, and then these, and then maybe dark chocolate. All right, so this is a piece of DSP from the Brights, one inch by three inch, and I picked out Melon Mambo, Gorgeous Grape, and Bermuda Bay, and I'm just putting snail on the back and wrapping them around the wrapper, like that, because it's just cute. It makes it even cuter. All right, so there they are in their little bed. Let's put them in the box. This is a piece of DSP from the neutral stack. And I was looking for basic black and then I realized basic black isn't in our neutrals anymore. So this is um, gray, basic gray, okay? And I'm gonna take it and I'm going to pinch it, folding it around the box to make a belly band, I'm not adhering it to the box. I'm just pinching it so that we can slide it off. Now, once I've got it kind of in place, I'm gonna take my adhesive and put some there on the end and adhere it to itself, all right? So see, it's not stuck to the box, it's just stuck to itself, all right? So there's that. Now let's get the Bermuda Bay Mini Striped Ribbon. The Mini Striped Ribbon comes in Poppy Parade, Bermuda Bay, and Gorgeous Grape. In case you were wondering, let's tie that little bow. It's um, a really thin ribbon, so it ties nicely. I like it. I think it's um, half an inch. Let's see, nope, a fourth of an inch, wow. Oh yeah, that does make more sense, fourth of an inch. All right, so let's see, here's the opening. I'm gonna put that bow right there. Now last but not least, I told you we were using every stamp in the set. Here is the last one we haven't used yet. It's just a simple happy birthday. And we're gonna stamp that right there. All right, so this piece is uh, half an inch and I'm gonna cut it down to just about the width of the words. A Little bit extra so that I can then, you know what, I'm gonna use my punch. I forgot about my little punch. We have that banner triple punch, but it's hard on little pieces. But my friend Ange McKay showed me, use your tailored tag punch to get that V on your little pieces. Love it. All right, two more dimensionals and we are done. These would make really cute party favors or table favors at a party. You'd probably wanna change the sentiment. Maybe thank you or party, I don't know, something fun. All right, what do you guys think? Look, I have three of them. Fun, cute little nugget boxes. I love nugget boxes. Whenever I see a new design, I uh, always have to snag it up. Yeah, no dryer. Um, Shelly says, no dryer, thank you. I didn't even finish telling you. After they come out of the washing machine, you just throw them in your, your little box, which this is just a clear, stamp case you can see it was a retired set i used or had i got rid of the stamp set somehow and have the case so i just keep it in here like that and um it stays damp in the case it does start to dry out a little bit on the edges and then you just spritz it again with water all right we are done well, i always have more questions about the chamois than anything else i show you guys are so funny the chamois it's only eight dollars and it's awesome. I have three of them and they all look like this. <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna look like in a year. Probably all dark, 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 right? I don't know, you can tell I always clean in the middle. Do y'all look like that too? All right, Simply Chamois, find it, add it to your order. It's only $8. Hey, another thing I wanna tell you guys to add to your orders this week is an ink pad. Stampin' Up! demonstrators are working hard to sell ink pads this month. So <clears throat> I've already met my goal, but to help my region out, you can add an ink pad to your, to your order. 
We have lots of ink pads. I showed you lots of them today. They have a new design. They open. Well, I'm going to make, make it look difficult. <laughs> right here on the notch, you open it like a compact. And then you just slide it in like that. And it comes with stickers. And this one I haven't even put on the inside. It comes with a sticker for the outside and a sticker for the inside. So if you are still building your ink supply, make sure to add on a new color with your order. Our ink pads are, I have to look, I can't even remember, $7.50. It's an easy way to build up your, your colors is to add one on each time you place an order. That's how I got all my markers years ago. I just added one or two on each time. Um, so add an ink pad on. Try some of these colors that I use today if you don't already have them or add on some of our other new colors. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. I wanna remind you guys to go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, get your PDF um, so that you'll know how to make your projects. If you want to put in an order and get these projects for free, you have to do that by Monday night. I will send them out to you on Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday morning. I always cut them Tuesday morning, so you gotta make sure to have your, your order in. And make sure you look over on YouTube for the clean recordings in case you need to look back to how we made it. All right, I'm just going to scan through, make sure I didn't miss any questions. Anne Marie says, me and little Debbie are besties. Yeah, we are. You should have seen when I was cleaning out my little candy cabinet last night how many little Debbie boxes I had in there that were way past their prime. They had to all go in the trash. Um, let's see, I think... Oh, Nicole says, have you ever had a chocolate beet cake? Nicole, no. And I thought I had met every cake there ever was. That's an interesting idea. Chocolate beet. Hmm. Oh, Nicole's also saying she likes the colors, color challenge. Um, good, I'm glad. I love putting colors together. That's one of my favorite parts. In fact, right before this video, I was working on a color palette for a class in September. I'm going to try to get a... Um, a farmhouse, a country home class done as well for you guys. All right, well, I think that's it. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Let me know if you have questions. Don't forget to share for a chance to win up the pop-up trash can and go over to my blog to enter for the hostess sets. All right, have a great weekend. Stay cool. Hopefully it's not too hot. And I will see you guys next Friday with the bunny, okay? All right, bye guys. Thanks so much.